Well, in my initial cryptids video, I missed out on a chance to talk about Megalodon and the likeliness or unlikeliness of Megalodon surviving and being a cryptid. Now, as a living fossil, if Megalodon could exist, Megalodon is much more likely than, say, something that has no record of existing. So, Megalodon is more likely than, say, like a Mongolian death worm, or obviously a Chupacabra, or even Bigfoot. But the problem with that is people don't see Megalodons very often. They have seen them, or giant sharks. This is something that people have seen from time to time, but it's definitely not something that people see regularly. And that's the problem when you get into, you know, 14 studies, is you're going to find stuff where you have very reliable uh, eyewitnesses to extraordinary things, and it's very sparse. But there is a consistent pattern that emerges of people seeing things from time to time, which should not be. And, and it's pretty interesting. People see, you know, their chupacabras and their mothmen, and they're seeing megalodons, and they're seeing UFOs and fairies and stuff. People do see these things, but as a biological animal, uh, megalodon is pretty unlikely, and for a few reasons. Um, Megalodon would have lived, or it did live in the shallow part of the waters, and its primary prey, from my understanding, was whales. So that would mean that you would be seeing Megalodon a great deal if it was a natural genus cryptid, because what I'm trying to do in these videos is make a distinction in with cryptozoology and kind of a more supernatural understanding of mysterious sightings of animals. Is, is that lots of thousands of people see Bigfoot, but that doesn't necessarily mean that Bigfoot is fake or that Bigfoot is a natural animal. Let's use that. So Megalodon being a natural animal is somewhat unlikely, but more unlikely or more likely than other stuff. So I, I think if I was doing the chart again, Megalodon is about a B. So... And another problem is, like, they'd be in the shallow water, so we'd see them a lot more. And is that whaling and other things have made whales decrease. So, because Megalodon would be a predator of whales, that would mean that whaling would wipe out Megalodon. Because it would have to be a species which is just very barely clinging on to life, right? A very rare species near extinction. And just the 19th century and early 20th century whaling adventures, um, that whole cycle be dis before the discovery of kerosene, would have rendered Megalodon extinct. Or again, very, 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 very likely would have rendered Megalodon extinct, and it probably already is. But the thing about Megalodon, which is so interesting, is from time to time, Megalodon teeth wash up, which are very minorly fossils because Megalodon is supposed to have gone extinct at the beginning of the Pliocene and the glaciations, but there's been Megalodon teeth that will wash up or be found, which are only 10,000 or 20,000 years old, a far cry from the 2.6 to 1.5 million it's estimated that he's supposed to have died in. And this is just a mystery and very hotly debated on why these teeth are not fossilized to the extent that they should be. Um, so it's more likely than not that Megalodon didn't go extinct at the last, uh, or at the end of the, at the beginning of the Pleistocene. Moreover, they would have went to extinct at the last glaciation, if that's true. Um, a lot of people really complain about Monster Shark Found Alive, which is a Discovery Channel 2013 fake mockumentary they made talking about or it's the, the monster shark lives right i think found alive is the same thing they did with mermaids but anyway that same thing caused thought people believe mermaids were real so anyway um they made a fake photograph set in south africa during world war ii or world war one where they're taking a picture of a supposed megalodon and, and there are, there's been a very bizarre sightings like the furred uh, whale in South Africa. And there's been megalodon sightings in South Africa. So 
it, it confused a lot of people that were generally interested in cryptids. And it, it, this was presented in this mockumentary, hoaxumentary kind of style, and it confused a lot of people. So it pun, pushed out uh, Megalodon to be one of the more famous cryptids when it's something that's pretty rarely seen. Now, it, it should be noted that people have been seeing Megalodon or giant sharks for a very long time, and it's definitely not a novel cryptid. It didn't come out after 2013. It's just that that Discovery Channel documentary, or air quote documentary, made it much more popular in the folk consciousness. Um, the real thing that's pushed out uh, Megalodons as far as cryptozoology goes is the strangeness of these teeth which have washed up that appear much younger than they should. And, you know, a handful of sightings, together they push forward uh, Megalodon as a cryptid. But generally, Megalodon is very, very unlikely to still exist as a natural animal. Again, I'm trying in these cryptid videos, you got to make the distinction between a supernatural cryptid and a natural animal cryptid. But people see Megalodon, and these teeth are really weird.